This is a bushingfix.com video for the GC1 kit. This kit fits several different cable ends. They're all similar, but some of them have different thicknesses. We'll talk about why that's important in a little bit. Start by removing the clip fully from the cable end. Remove the cable end and don't lose that spring. You'll need it later. You'll need to use a drill bit to drill out the end of this cable end. That'll be a 3 8 drill bit and you'll want to drill through the side that is already circular. I recommend using a vise to do this. If you don't have a vise, you can use something else to hold the cable end. Not your hand, but something. And if you're going to do that, I recommend starting with a smaller size drill bit and working your way up slowly to 3 8 Once you've drilled out the cable end, on some cable ends there will be two tabs that are left inside. Now we need to remove those tabs and we'll do so by prying on them with a pocket screwdriver or needle nose pliers and once they sort of bend a little bit they'll break off pretty easily. There's a bent one there and once they bend like that you can use needle nose pliers and just get them out the rest of the way. Once both of those tabs are out, if you'd like, you can use a file to clean up the cable end, but it's not required. Once that's out, we'll put the bushing into place. Now the cable thickness matters because on some cable ends, the top will be sticking out like this, and on other cable ends, it will be flush. Once you've got the bushing in place, you can put everything onto the shift lever and when it snaps into place that will hold everything together. Adjust the shift lever according to the service manual and that's it, you're done.